Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about a question that has come up in my comments a couple different times, and that is the differences between the 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 Z06 Corvettes, and which one of them is the sweet spot for purchasing. All right guys, so before we get started today, I wanted to mention the fact that the giveaway is still going, and if you guys have not seen that video yet, check right up here, and go ahead and check that video out. Like it, comment on it, and follow San Diego Designs on Instagram to be entered for the giveaway. And what you're gonna get is a $50 gift certificate to the San Diego Designs website where you can get all kinds of cool things like the seatbelt stays, the dash bin buddy, uh, a lot of good things for the C7 Corvette specifically. So check out that video and get yourself entered for a chance to win. There's a lot of great items over at SanDiegoDesigns.com. I'm only just barely scratching the surface. He makes all kinds of great things for the C7 Corvette specifically. Things that you don't even really necessarily know that you would need until you have them and then you can't realize how you lived without them. Like I said, one of them is the Dash Bin Buddy, which is this little cubby shelf that fits right in the actual opening behind the radio of the C7 Corvette. Really helps with storage capacity and keeping things organized in there. So definitely check out that video. Get yourself entered for a chance to win. The end date for that is April 26th. It's coming up very soon, so definitely make sure you jump on it now. I thought I would take a drive and talk about this today because it is actually a nice day for now. If you look out here, Looks like pretty much beautiful skies, but we turn around back here and yeah, Pennsylvania. We're likely gonna get some rain here. So I wanted to get this video filmed today before the rain starts and try to get out and enjoy the vet a little bit because this car is amazing. I mean, like I said a hundred times, it changes your mood and I'm just getting over a cold. I could use my mood changed a little bit. All right, guys, so like I said, this question has come up in my comments a couple different times, but most recently from one of my subscribers that I'm pretty close with, Peter Carey. I'm gonna go over this just for you, buddy. And that's really just gonna touch on the difference in the model years of the Z06 and which one is really the sweet spot. So let's just get right into it. Let's start with point number one. That's gonna be interior color options. So the 2015 Corvette that I have here, this is the Corvette Z06 with the Z07 package, 3LZ, literally has almost every single option you could get in 2015. Now, I love the car, don't get me wrong, but if I could find a car that I could move laterally to, it would be another Corvette Z06 with the Z07 package, and it would be a 2017. Just like I was telling Peter in one of our private emails, I think the 17 is the best value because of how much you're gonna pay for it and the options that you get. So with my 2015, even though it came with every option pretty much checked, there were options that were not available in 2015. Now, that one of the biggest ones for me is the interior color options. So we'll open up the door and dive in. And as you can see, I have the 3LZ Napa leather, the competition leather seats, the carbon fiber dashboard insert, the Z06 embossed center console lid. Like I said, pretty much every option available for this particular car. Now, what I'm getting at with the color options for the 2017 that are available is you get the option of red seat belts, which would be really awesome in a, in a red car like this. One of my most recent videos, I actually went in and added the red rev match paddles, which you can actually see by checking right up here. But this car didn't have the option for it. So I would have loved to have had the red rev match paddles right off the bat. They weren't hard to add. Honestly, it only took about 20 minutes, but to buy the car with it already on there would have been pretty nice. And lastly, the big thing for the interior for me is red stitching. So in 15, it was not an option to get any other color stitching here. It was white or you didn't buy it. So I would have loved to have had red stitching in here. Now I'm obviously a guy who can appreciate his red, but when it comes to a red exterior and then also the red leather seats on the inside, it's a little bit too much. But at the same time, I wouldn't mind to have a little bit of red accent in here, just 
a little bit of stitching, maybe the red seat belts and the red paddle shifters, or in this case, rev match paddles, really help set off the interior. And it would have been really nice to have had the red stitching option in this car. But of course, that was not really an option until 2017. So with the 17s, you get a little bit more interior color options, and it really helps you customize the car to make it your own. For point number two, we're gonna go underneath the hood. And as soon as we open up the hood, we can see the supercharger lid. Now, if you look at the lid, the way it bumps up right here and then kind of flattens out, that in the 2017s, this was about this high the whole way across. So it adds about an inch and a half to two inches more volume across the entire supercharger. Now, that's not really the big benefit. The biggest benefit comes from the fact that the reason the lid is bigger was actually to house bigger intercooler bricks which helped keep everything cool. So the lid looked better, was a little bit bigger, added bigger intercooler bricks to help keep things cool. So the big thing for the 17s was keeping everything cool. And it started right here. Not only did it do that, it actually looked a little bit cooler. It also changed this underhood insulator, which of course this isn't a huge deal, but because of the fact that this lid sat a little bit higher, this insulator had to be changed so this wouldn't hit it. And this, you can see is big Z06 with the flags, but it's just, it's not color or anything. And with the 17s, this is a little bit smaller, but it's all in color. So it's kind of cool looking when you have the hood up at a car show or something. Now, another thing with the 17s, with that supercharger lid being bigger, there was actually some people who took the bigger supercharger lid and put it on the 15s or 16s and noticed about a 10 horsepower increase on the dyno. So apparently a side effect of making this lid a little bit bigger was actually a little bit more horsepower too, which everyone loves a little bit extra power. You know, men, we want a job done right and we want it done quick. What do we need? More power! Darn right, more power. Now, like I said, with the 2017s, cooling was the name of the game and they started with the supercharger. And the other part, which is gonna bring us to our third topic, is going to be the auxiliary radiator which only happened in the manual transmission cars and it's going to be hard to see but if you look in here down there at the bottom it would have been right down in here there would have actually been a flat radiator that sits horizontally in there at the bottom and what that did was literally just add another radiator to the coolant of the car to really help keep oil temperatures down because for any of you who don't know the coolant actually cools the oil in this car and because when you take the car to the track the biggest thing that's going to start overheating the quickest is going to be your oil so having more coolant to really keep that oil cool was really a, a step up as far as track times are concerned so Again, like I said, that was only an addition in the 17s and up and only for the manual transmissions. Now, you may ask yourself, well, why didn't the automatics get this? Because 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, the automatics already had a cooler down there, so they couldn't add an auxiliary radiator because the transmission cooler was already there. As I've stated in the past, the manual transmissions didn't really have an issue with overheating, but the automatics did. And this was one of the biggest reasons, was even after GM made some revisions to try to keep things cool with a bigger supercharger lid, better intercooler bricks, and that auxiliary cooler down there, it really could only help the manual transmission because there was already a cooler there for the automatics. And this cooling setup here with the bigger supercharger lid really only helped keep the intake temperatures down. So that didn't help anything with the oil temperatures specifically. Now, like I said earlier, those would be the reasons I would get a 17 over the 18s or 19s. And it's because the 18s and 19s didn't really add anything additional that the 17s didn't have. And you can save a lot of money by getting the 17 instead because the 18s and 19s are gonna have a higher price tag because they're a little bit newer. Ultimately, the 17s had a lot of different things in them, a lot of additional items that I didn't even include because the 16 also had it as well. But I'll touch on those in a second here. Now, like I said, this is basically gonna be the sweet spot for the Z06 because you're gonna get all the options you want and you're not gonna pay a huge amount of money for it. Now, like I said, I was trying to get out here and get this done before the rain started, and wouldn't you know, it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna jump in the car, head back to the garage, and we're gonna finish up this video there. 
Okay guys, here we are back at the garage. Like I said, rain started unexpectedly. I was kind of hoping to uh, have better weather for at least a little bit longer, but Pennsylvania. So anyway, the last couple items that the 17 gets that you couldn't get in the 15 were things like Android Auto, auto cinching, front curb view cameras, and little things like that. I say little things, but honestly, that front view camera is huge. I wish I had that. And again, that's something you can get with the 16s as well, but come with the 17s too. So why I'm saying the 17s is the sweet spot, like I said, you get the three big options I was talking about earlier, and you can still get all the options you would get with a 16 as well. I got such a great price on the 15 whenever I got it, and this was the exact spec I wanted. If I could, like I said, move laterally, price-wise and everything right over to a 17 and get the same spec car, I'd do it. And those are the reasons why. That's gonna do it for today's video. If you liked what you saw, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about the 2017 car and why I chose that as the sweet spot for the Z06, let me know down in the comments below. Feel free to also shoot me an email if you have any questions that you don't wanna necessarily make public. That is right in the description down below. It's horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. I always reply as best I can because I wanna keep the comments going. I wanna keep the conversation going. There's a lot of information here to learn about these cars. I've learned a lot of it on my own and I'm more than happy to share it with you guys as well. Now, like I said in my install video for the Pro Clip phone mount, I was gonna start putting pictures of subscribers' cars at the end of my Corvette videos because I've gotten a lot of actual pictures from you guys and I love the fact that we can get to know each other through our rides. I'm gonna add some more to the end of this video as well, so stay tuned for that, that's coming up next.